Hi, Rich Daly here at Dinofloor, grinning a little. First time ever we've done a video more than once. I was halfway through it and somebody tried to call me. We're using my cell phone. So, hey guys, I've got to tell you about my records a little bit just because of all the trolls on Facebook. There's, you know, every page has three or four that are clueless, bought kit or did this or that and have no data. Um, NHRA national record holder, 160.50. This is my favorite. Won the Am Snow Shootout against the toughest guy in asphalt race in Louis Werbel because I had Thunder Shift weights. Um, a hill climb champ on my XP. I run stock clutching with a little heavier pins, one degree more on the helix, and I can adjust my clickers, which is a Skidoo pattern. The Thunder Shift is actually better than the Skidoo adjusting the clickers, and I'll tell you why. Let's get back on track with you trail guys. So. My new Polaris 850 over revved the hair from stock uh, when the weather was cold. So I welded 1.4 grams um, on my clutch. So then my RPMs were good. 80, 150 to 82 on a 15 to 30 degree day. Now if it goes below zero, I'm over revving. I lose a mile per hour. I've got a bit of a dog. I would have to have a weight with another gram welded to it. If it goes above 30, I would need to take the grinder and lighten the stock weight. So, the beauty of the thunder shifts, I set it up the same weight. I looked at the profile, figured I was pretty smart on clutching, but I learned something. So, the stock weight is heavier here in the belly, and about the same on the tip. So, while I'm on the tip, let me explain the tip to you. If a guy tells you his clutch kit has tip weight, you want to hang up. The last thing you want on a sled is tip weight. The reason being, tip weight makes it lazy for response. Tip weight does this. Here's the tip weight. You come out, it'll bring down your engagement RPM 1 to 200, so we're coming out at 37 now. We're grown enough through with all the tip weight we do not get back on target until we're darn near to the peak. Let me explain the other extreme. So now I put it in. I'm a little lighter on the tip than stock. Here's what happens, guys. My engagement up to 4 to 4100, which means it's going to act like one degree less angle on my beginning number on the helix. So it would be like this dotted line. I'm going to be a little revier all the way till I get back into my power. Once you get back into the power, it's all about total weight because by now your weight, like your teeter-totter with the big guy on it, is over here. So now we straight line. So what I found today, because my engagement went up, actually went up so high, I was at 42.43, I just simply reversed it. I put a little more weight on the tip, I went back into here, I went out in the field, I now ran like the stock, which was engineered very good. I was, since I had just a hair less tip weight, I was about 100 RPMs higher, which means when I stud my sled, I'm going to be perfect. So guys, this looks like a lot of stuff. This is a lot of neat stuff. Any of you guys just thinking about it, watch this video one more time. Super easy to adjust. You know what I really like about it? Because I, I also promote these hill races. We have the biggest circuit in the country, 30 events usually each year. I'll be running the race. The temperature will change from 20 that night. It may go to 5 below zero. All I will do before I go up the hill, I'll turn this in three or four turns. So basically I've got another half a gram on my tip. My RPMs will be correct. Guys, very nice setup. Um, I think they're around $250 or $270. And really, you don't need to buy anything else. Thank you. Uh, please share this. And if you do have questions, uh, message me publicly on these Facebook ch chat rooms. Because then when I get back and explain it, Everybody's getting educated. Um, we all learn from this. Um, we all like to go faster. And uh, we all like to beat our buddies. I hope my buddy doesn't beat me now. Thank you.